Hello, and welcome to my channel. Back in 1977, Atari released the Atari 2600, which was the first ever gaming console where you could exchange the games and play multiple games on one machine. But it could only play games. It didn't have a keyboard. Not until 1983, where the company Spectra Video released their Compumate which was an add-on to the Atari 2600, which made it possible to write and run basic programs on the Atari 2600. This is a German version, which is why it says Heim Computer, but this is basically the same thing. To test that, I need an Atari 2600, and um, yeah, I think I have one of these in the basement, so let me get one of these. Oh. Okay, maybe I had a little bit more than one. I found this box, so I need to figure out which one of these works. And while I do that, will you please do me the favor of subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and all the thing about comments down below that would make me so happy. And while you do that, and I test that, and just before I test that, I will run the intro. Yeah! Spectra Video's Compumate SV-010 was an addition to the Atari 2600, launched in 1983, which turned it into a fully-fledged home computer running Microsoft Basic. The unit had 16 kilobytes of read-only memory containing the software, and 2 kilobytes of system memory for running your programs. It could display 10 lines of 12 characters, or in graphics mode, it could display 40x40 40 40 pixels with 10 selectable colors, and finally, it had a 42-key sensor touch keyboard. Besides from this, the unit also contained two jack plugs, which could be used to load and save basic programs from cassette tapes. It could also be used to save and retrieve graphics and music made by the two other built-in programs, which were a simple music composer and an equally simple drawing program. Finally, the unit came with a thorough and easy to understand manual that would teach you not only basic, but also how to use the music composer and the drawing program. The unit would reside on the top of the Atari and be connected directly to both the accompanying cartridge and both of the joystick ports. But enough talking. Let's initiate this beauty by typing in my traditional basic program. I think this is the smallest screen I ever used so far. And this keyboard is really tricky to type on. I have not quite figured out why sometimes the keys return to function even though I have not pressed down the function key first. But lo and behold, BASIC do actually work on this machine. As mentioned before, the cartridge contains a simple drawing program. Since both the joystick ports are in use by the computer, we need to use the keyboard to navigate our drawing marker around the screen. We can only draw in one color, it is slow, but I could easily imagine that kids back in the early 80s could have spent hours upon hours playing with this. The music composer actually has two voices and is relatively impressive, but for now, you will have to settle for me playing I was sleeping manually. Finally, I want to show you how I can save and retrieve the drawing I made just before from a cassette tape. In this case, I'm using a modern Linux computer running Audacity. I simply connect the two computers with a mono jack cable, press record on the Linux machine and save on the Compumate. Now I can see the waveform on the Linux machine. This way I know that at least something is coming into the computer. Had I used a standard cassette player, I would not have had a way to verify this. The Compumate screen is cycling through random colors. This indicates that tape communication is taking place. After about 30 seconds, the transfer stops and the Compumate plays a little tune to celebrate that the image was saved to tape, or in this case, a WAV file. In order to retrieve this image again, I power cycle the Atari. Switch this back into the drawing program and press the load key and place back the WAV file to the Compumate from my Linux system.
And after another 30 seconds, my image reappears on the screen and the CompuMate celebrates once again with a neat little tune. Yeah, you're right. With modern eyes, this is a really simplistic computer. But I guarantee you any kid in 1983 would have been thrilled to have this for a birthday present. I mean, I would have been thrilled to have it in 1990. What do you think about the CompuMate? Do you want to see more about it? What do you want to see me do with it? I mean, leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can do it. And while you do that, I guess I will see you out there in the dark corners of the interwebs. Thank you so much for the view. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome retro content. If you wish to support this channel, you are very welcome to do so directly through Patreon or Tenor app or by purchasing some of our merchandise. That helps a lot. Finally, you can also support us by simply watching a lot of our videos and by getting your friends to do the same.